for 12 years. I was a marine biologist, basically. It was the exactness that you had to have, and I didn't have it. Like, I just didn't have it. So that job was really stressful for me because I wasn't gifted at it. I also got ulcers. And anyway, I got that wrinkle from that. That's fine. I knew I needed to like do something on a different level. I got a feeling it's gonna be a big day, big fish. I quit my job, big day. but paid cash for the permit. And then I was like, oh, okay, I now am a fisherman. What do I do? Took a little marching in last Sunday. If you're gonna go, you're gonna have to play. Took a little trip to space last Sunday. I will never know what I'll have to say. We're having a Sunday party. Come over and be our friends. There's wine and cookies all over, heroes making dinner from the outer space. So they're 10 and 8 years younger than me, and they were very good friends with my little brother. I didn't babysit them, but I definitely kicked them out of my parents' house for partying when they were way young. <laughs> And it just so happens that they were looking for someone to join their little group, and I needed guidance. They call me the golden boy at the cannery. <laughs> I'm like LeBron for them, you know? I can't wait to get out here every year. I mean, who wouldn't? We're beach living out here, you know? You know, I say as a, as a set netter, you're not a captain because you don't really have a boat. We got skiffs. So I'd call myself more the Duke. Not throwing corks. Uh, Eric and Ty more web. I just was like, well, if you'll have me, I will come to Bristol Bay and fish with you. <laughs> Always known she was a badass, you know. Devin's Tinder profile would be ultra awesome hippie with great political conversation and has his hand in many pots. <laughs> Here's my lady's parents. Oh my gosh, you're meeting the parents? Oh, dang. Dude, that woman survived six cancers. Jeez. Yeah, she's only got one boot. <laughs> OK, well, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can hold our liquor now. You know, we're more party trained. That's probably about it. If God made sockeye, he made Bristol Bay for them to live. Burrito, check. Ready, check. Game face. We only have a month really to fish. Every day counts. You know, if you take one day off, you can't take a day off here. And that's what, this is such a high drama fishery, I guess, because of that. I mean, I remember my first week, I was like, I don't, there's no way. There's no way I could pick more than 100 fish a day. And they're just like laughing at me. Like, oh, you have no idea. You know, you're just on the bottom of the bell curve and it's just kind of like a few little crumbs coming your way. And you'd be like, do pull-ups before dinner. We can't eat. <laughs> and the whole bay lights up, you know, all of a sudden, like all the nets are hitting. Everyone's going wild. Fish are jumping, it's just like this crazy energy. It's like a storm blowing through the bay, but it's really just fish. <laughs> you don't really know what 20,000 pounds feels like until you put it in your hands. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason we call her the squirrel. Her mind's going a million miles an hour and her brain's trying to go a thousand miles an hour to keep up. Or wait, no, the body, the body. <laughs> Really, before, as a scientist, I didn't understand salmon that well. Look at these fish. They're beautiful. I didn't 
appreciate how much we depend on them as an economy, as a community. I've been waiting five years to meet me. Hello. Sorry you had to die, but thank you for feeding us. This is our last natural food that we're eating, you know. This is like we're catching a wild animal and we're trying to sustain that. The hardest thing for me, honestly, is just the ego of it. My mom loved to be like, oh yes, my daughter's a marine biologist. And now my mom's like, well, she's fishing with a bunch of like, <laughs> hooligan young dudes, <laughs> like smoking and cussing out on the beach. I don't, like I don't have anything that defines me anymore. And so uh, that part I'm working through still, but. On the missing doo-doo, on the missing doo-doo, on the missing doo-doo. Shift your hips far forward. Okay. You know how to dance, right? Everybody wants to know where their food comes from. Everybody wants to know what they're feeding their children. Like, that's a big part of it for me. You can actually know, hey, I'm gonna take care of this fish and it's gonna be amazing when you put it in your mouth. And you know that it's like from this crazy Bristol Bay run. You get to know that when you take a bite of salmon. How lucky are you? How lucky are we? Shoot a hole on the money, Charlie.